Hello, this is Derek Hansen for Running Mechanics Professional. So we're gonna talk about a question I'm asked a lot, very frequently, whether it's online, social media, or even at my courses, and they wanna know what velocity do I run my tempo runs? How do I figure that out? Is there a scientific equation? You say 70%, what does that mean? What is that based on? So I'm gonna keep it really simple, and I think that's always been my MO. I wanna keep things simple for you. So if we say 70%, and sometimes you'll hear up to 75%, sometimes I'll use as low as 65% if I think somebody's a little you know, high strung and I wanna make sure they go a little slower. If we're saying 70%, now let's look at how I calculate that. So if so you have somebody who runs a 10 second, 10 flat 100 meters, and we take what is 70% over that same distance? So a lot of tempo running is done with 100, 200 meters, sometimes 300. So we go 10 seconds. So if we go at 70%, that's gonna be a 13 second effort. Now let's factor in some things here. If they're running 10 seconds in a competitive 100 meters on a track with spikes, they're not gonna be running in spikes on a track with their tempo run. So they're gonna be in regular running training shoes and they might be on grass, maybe turf. So we have to kind of take that and go, okay, so what is 13 seconds gonna be for somebody who's a high level sprinter? It might be about 15 to 16 seconds to complete that run on a softer surface and just nice and relaxed, you know, nobody firing a gun, nobody racing against you. So a lot of the time, this is what I come up with for somebody who is a higher level sprinter is, you know, about 15, 16 seconds. We don't want them racing. We don't want them doing anything crazy. So again, if you have somebody who might be a team sport athlete, who's not running hundreds all the time, maybe they're about a, a 12 second, 100 meter person in your estimation, don't test them. Right? If you got somebody who's an NFL player or an NBA player, don't time them over 100 meters to figure out their tempo runs, okay? Just, just follow what I'm doing here. So 12 seconds, let's say, which is still not a bad time. Let's say we go, okay, that's gonna be about 17, 18 seconds per 100 meters, right? And you can do kind of the same thing with their 200. So if they do a 200, you have to factor in that they're running 100, they're turning around, they're coming back for 100, so you factor in this as part of the time. So maybe that might be, you know, 35 to 40 seconds to do an easy 200. And again, if they're not track athletes, you have to factor this in, and you have to make sure, one, they're gonna get a good workout as part of their tempo run, hitting that aerobic energy system, but at the same time, you wanna make it uh, relatively safe. So a lot of the time, what I recommend to coaches and athletes is rather than make this faster, so say you wanna get the heart rate up, rather than make this faster, why don't you just close up the recovery times between the runs to make sure that they're working a little harder and then it gets a little safer rather than trying to chase the time in the actual run itself. So if somebody is using a soccer field and they're doing their runs here, you can either shorten that walk to the other side or you can quicken it up. Maybe there's a little jog, maybe it's a little faster walk before they do their next 100. Those are things you can do to make sure that you manage the tempo runs and it's not unsafe, but still they get a good workout. So be careful of this. Sometimes people take it quite literally, but in my running mechanics professional courses, we really talk about and walk people through how to do this properly, surface selection, types of shoes, how frequently, what time of day, and I wanna make sure everybody's comfortable when they do their tempo runs, because it is more of a recovery and general conditioning concept. We don't want people hurting themselves. So if you need any more information, visit runningmechanics.com or hit me up on this channel and you can ask more questions and hopefully I can help you out.